Hello and welcome. I'm Christina, founder of Access to Yoga, and I'm so happy you're beginning our journey today with Keep Access Essex. Today is going to be a 25 minute chair yoga video. I really hope that you enjoy the session. It's based on mindfulness, meditation, and also just some simple chair yoga poses to keep you physically active. So we'll begin. Just ensure that your spine is nice and tall, that your back is away from the back of the chair. So just shuffle forward slightly. Ensure that you have water on a hand if you need to, and ensure that your chair is stable and supported on a yoga mat just for extra grip. Okay, let's begin. So we'll begin with the three part yoga breath. This is great if you're feeling stressed out and just to stop those spinning thoughts in your mind. So begin by seated, nice and tall, back is straight, knees hip distance apart, feet firmly grounded on the floor, hands on sides, shoulders back and down, chin is parallel with the floor. And I'd like you to place your hands on your belly. Breathing in through the nose, filling up the belly like a balloon. And exhale through the nose. Inhale, placing the hands on the lower ribs. Exhale through the nose. Taking the hands to the collarbones. Inhale all the way up to your collarbones. And one long exhalation. Good. So we're going to knit all three parts of the inhale in the belly, lower ribs. Take an inhale all the way up to the collarbones in one full swoop and then one long exhalation. So your hands could be rested on the belly here. You can close the eyes or just gently gaze down. So inhaling belly. Ribs, taking the breath all the way up to the collarbones, and one full exhalation. That's good. Inhale, belly, feeling the breath expand into the ribs, taking the breath all the way up to the collarbones, and one full exhalation. All right, that's really good. And inhale again, belly. Ribs, feeling the ribs expand forwards and back and sides and taking the breath all the way up to the collarbones. And one full exhalation. One more time. Inhale, belly. Ribs, collarbones. And one full exhalation. Well done. And just shake those shoulders out. Shake it out. Taking your shoulders back in circles and then forwards, just warming up those shoulders. Good. Doesn't it feel good to keep moving? And just shaking those hands. Good. And now just giving yourself a hug. So. Ensure your right arm is on top of left, and then I'd like you to move over to the left. So just stretching out the upper back, breathing in through the nostrils, exhaling out through the nostrils, and then moving over to the right, inhaling, and exhaling. Moving across the opposite side, inhaling and exhaling and moving across, inhaling and exhaling. Good. So now we're just going to bring the hands together in prayer. Inhale, reach up. Exhale as you stretch the arms, stretch the fingers out, and lower. Inhale. 
reach up, exhale, stretch the arms out to the sides and lower, inhale. And exhale, good, well done, inhale. And exhale, good, well done. Reaching up with the arms and now I want you to just shake the hands, shake those hands. We're getting the blood moving in our bodies and then I just want you to just gently lower your spine down as you keep shaking your hands down towards your feet. Keep shaking those hands, shaking those hands. Keep breathing with the movements. Well done. And just gently come up to sitting. Now we're going to do some gentle reaches. So taking the right arm, I want you to stretch up and just reach over to the side gently. Taking the left arm, reach up and just reach over to the side ever so gently. So this is a great one when we can't, reach for those certain things in our cupboards just creates a little bit more space in our vertebrae and our spine it just gives us the ability just to do those daily activities that's it keep reaching reach up and lower reach up and lower that's a gentle stretch, reach up and lower, that's great. So now we've, we're going to do a little bit more coordination based movement. So this time I want you to reach up with the right arm, but I want you to stretch your left foot out. The heel digs onto the floor, okay? And back to centre. And then take the left arm up, and I want you to stretch the opposite leg, the right leg, onto the floor as you heel dig onto the floor. Good. Can you go a little fast now? Right arm up, left leg stretches onto the ground, heel dig. And a little faster now. Just stretching out the back of the hamstrings, stretching the back of the shoulder blades. That's good, well done. Keep breathing with the movement, inhaling as you reach up, exhaling as you lower. And just one more to the right, that's great, and lower down. And now I just want you to gently march on the spot. So, this is the basic march. Just ensure your spine's nice and tall. If you want to go a little bit more cardiovascular, you can involve the arms. Good, keep it up. Imagine that we're going on a long hike. Well done. Warming up our bodies, keeping us more mobile, softening our muscles and reducing pain. Good, and slow it down. Well done, good. So we're going to do some salutations now. So I'd like you, again, with your knees just gently apart, spine nice and tall. Do not lean back, spine nice and tall. Bring the hands together. Inhale as you reach up, exhale as you float the body down. Hands can be on top of your shins or flat on the ground, just whatever feels good for you. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and hands back to center. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, float the arms down. 
inhale, halfway lift with a nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, float the arms up. And hands back to center. Good, well done. Now we're going to do half twist. So I'd like you to gently lean forward with a nice flat back. Good. And take your right hand on top of your left shin or left ankle. And then just look over to the right, twist over to the right. And if you want, you can keep the left hand on your waist and you can stay here and breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. If you want to take it a step further, you can raise the left arm up to the ceiling. Breathing in, breathing out. And float the arm down and come back to center. So we'll do the same to the right side now. So gently lean forward, taking the left hand on top of the, on front of the um, right thigh or right shin, whatever feels good for you. Taking the right hand to the waist. Again, you can stay here if this feels good for you. If you would like to take it a step further, just twisting and releasing the right arm all the way up to the sky. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling the stretch in the back of the shoulders. Twists are really good for digestion. And float the arm down good well done and now just gently come up to standing for warrior one that's good so what i'd like you to do now is take the right foot forward left foot back Right foot bends slightly and ensure the knee is central so that you can still see your big toe in front of you. Ensure the knee is perpendicular with the ankle. Good. And you can hold here. Inhale, I'd like you to float the arms up. Looking forward and then just soften the shoulders down for warrior one. Inhaling and exhaling. If you're finding it too difficult to raise both arms, you can actually have the hands on your hips. That's no problem. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling, good. Float the arms down back onto the chair. Now I'd like you to take the right arm onto the right hip and just turn to face the back wall, opening up through the shoulders. Pelvis is neutral, hips are facing that back wall and breathe in through the nose, out through the nose in through the nose and out through the nose. And coming back to center, well done. And we'll do the same to the opposite side. So just stepping back about three feet apart, ensuring your right knee is perpendicular with the ankle. Ensure that the knee is central to the foot and that you can see your big toe. Okay, so hold on here. Warrior one, inhale, float the arms up. And as you exhale, just soften in the shoulders. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Good, well done. 
one more deep breath in and out and just float the arms down good and just taking the right hand onto the chair left hand on hip and then hips to face forwards so open up through the shoulders pelvis is neutral pelvis floats down fine breathing in and out breathing in and out well done and coming back to center holding onto the chair good and now we're going to do a couple of push-ups just to strengthen our arms so just stepping back ever so slightly and right foot comes forward and with a nice flat back I want you to push into that chair keeping the elbows quite close into the body and coming back up pressing down and back up pressing down and coming back up good well done stepping forward towards the chair giving yourself a breather and now stepping back with the right foot bending the front knee again keeping the elbows close into the body with a nice flat back we're going to push into the chair bending from the elbows coming back up push into the chair as you lean forward coming back up and push into the chair and come back up well done so it's really strengthening our triceps the backs of the arms which is an area that we forget about sometimes in exercise. Good. So we'll finish now with tree pose. So I like you to take all of your weight onto your right foot, spreading the toes into the ground. You can take the left hand onto the hip for extra balance and just softly bringing the sole of the left foot onto the inner calf muscle and just holding here and if you can you can bring the hands together if you're feeling stable and breathe steadying ourselves into the ground rooted like trees And just gently lower down. Now taking the chair to the opposite side now. And then just pushing into the toes of the, sorry, left foot now. And taking the sole of the foot onto the lower calf muscle and when you're steady hands together and just lower down good well done and now we'll finish with a couple of hamstring stretches. Uh, I'm so happy you've come this far. Well done. Come down onto the chair. We'll stretch the hamstrings. So just gently clasping the back of the hamstrings, supporting the back of the thigh as you elongate that right leg in front of you. Stretch it out. Flex the toes towards you. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And lower. And the same to the left leg. So gently clasp the back of the thigh. Stretch.
stretch away with the leg, flex the toes towards you, stretch, stretch, stretch. And lower, give well done. And then taking the right foot on top of the thigh, to drop the shoulders down, have a nice straight spine as you gently lean forward. So breathing in, exhale, lean forward. So you're just leaning forward about two to three inches as you feel that stretch of your thigh muscles and hip muscles just stretching out. Good. And then just take the hands to give that knee a hug if you can. And then just look over to the right for a gentle twist. Good, good, good. And we'll repeat that to the opposite side. So just gently clasping the thigh for a nice, simple glute stretch. The foot is placed on top of the right thigh. Spine is nice and tall. Drop the shoulders down. Breathe in. And as you exhale, lean forward. Good. So again, you should feel the stretch in those hip muscles should feel the stretch also in your glute muscles and your piriformis where your sciatic nerve sits. Breathing in, breathing out. So remember to let go as you exhale into that stretch. Good, good, good. And then when you're ready, gently come up. And then just clasping around that knee very simple twist, looking over to the left. Breathing in and breathing out. Remember to drop the shoulders down, soften in the face, soften in the shoulders. And release. And to finish off, we'll finish with some spinal breath work. I'd like you to close the eyes in preparation for the two one breath. So, settling the mind, settling the thoughts, becoming centered in our body. Closing the eyes, breathing in for a count of four. And exhaling for a count of eight. Nice, smooth inhale for a count of four. And exhaling for a count of eight. Inhaling for four. And exhale for eight. One more inhale for four. And exhale for eight. Gently open the eyes. You're well done. I congratulate you on doing your first uh, chair yoga video today with me. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care. Stay well hydrated and stay safe.